Bacall, Bacall. I should not be hauling any books at all. Hey guys, it's Sarah, and <laughs> we're gonna do a Bacall today. Um, okay, I really should not be hauling this many books. I do have 16 books to talk about. Mm, okay, but I'm not, I'm not even gonna try to explain it away. I bought some books, I had a few books sent to me, and this, I gotta find places for them now because we all know my bookshelf situation. All right, so these first three I got from a very, very sweet subscriber, a new subscriber actually, and um, she asked if she could send me a book that she won on Goodreads and she read it and thought I would like it too. And I said, absolutely, that's so nice of you to, you know, pass it on and all that. And the woman sends me three. So. <laughs> I've already yelled at her. It's like, this is not one book. This was three books, but she was very sweet. So she sent me this really cute little card and she sent the giveaway book that she won was The Invisible Women. And this is by Sister Sandra Makowski. And um, this is the one that she won on Goodreads and she thought I would like it as well. And so this is obviously a Christian nonfiction book. So I'm going to definitely put it in my Christian cabinet that I have with all my books and Bible studies and all that stuff. So I will definitely be getting to this at some point, but it's naming and proclaiming the forgotten women in scripture and church law. And that's really interesting. I'm very, very interested in the women of the Bible. I have quite a few books about them and um, I have one actually called evil women of the Bible or wicked women of the Bible or something. So I'm very interested in the women that are, you know, in there and how they helped shape everything. It's very, very interesting to me. So thank you, Leanne. And then she sent me a James Baldwin book and it says everyone should take a crack at James Baldwin. I hope you enjoy. And I'm excited to take a crack at him. He's also on the um, Great American Reads. It's not this book, but one of his books is on there too. So that's really awesome. Um, this is called The Fire Next Time by James Baldwin, extremely, extremely short, but I've never read anything by him. So this would probably be a good one to read first before I read the other one, because I think the other one is longer. So maybe this could like give me a good taste of what his writing is all about. So I'm excited about it, thank you. And then the next one is called After Anna, and this is by Alex Lake, and it says, just because, have a great day. So sweet, so sweet, Leanne, thank you so much, seriously. Um, this is a thriller novel, and I think it's about, um, a girl who was kidnapped but then she's returned but that's kind of where their nightmare actually starts is after uh, she has returned home so that's very intriguing so seriously Leanne thank you so much I was floored when I got your package I was just expecting one and you gave me three and I just I can't thank you enough thank you this next one was actually sent to me from the publisher St. Martin's Press so thank you St. Martin's Press I'm super excited about this and that is she was the quiet one by Michelle Campbell this comes out on July 31st so um, I'm really excited about this I do have her first book which is called it's always the husband and I have not read that one yet but I'm going to soon and then I'm really excited about this one so this is a thriller book and this follows two sisters who attend a boarding school and they are a little bit opposite you know in personality wise we have rose who is very you know conserved and she's just wants to do the right thing and this boarding school is her dream and then her sister Belle kind of falls into a wild crowd and she ends up doing something to rose that is pretty unforgivable because of the influences of this wild crowd and a lot of things start happening from there and some confidences come into play that are you know not necessarily okay a little taboo and one of the sisters ends up dead so i'm excited to see what's going to be happening in here who's doing what i'm hoping it's going to be really twisty and turny and all that stuff but i am very very grateful that this was sent to me by a publisher and i really can't wait to read it all right so those were the books that were sent to me this month and let's go into books that i purchased all right we'll start with amazon i did get one book on amazon during the prime days when they had the weekend the prime weekend or whatever and i kept my eye on some books just to see what was popping up and one caught my eye it was on my wish list and i was like you know what if that goes down below 10 bucks for a hardback, I'm gonna go ahead and pick it up, and then it did. So I went ahead and grabbed it. That is Sky in the Deep by Adrian Young. This is, I believe, a young adult debut novel, and it follows Vikings, but it's also a fantasy book. So I have heard Vikings meets Wonder Woman, and I am intrigued. 
and our library here has a little bookstore inside of it and that's where the donated books go that people are donating in order to raise funds and that's what I did in New Mexico when I was volunteering there so I went into their store to see what they had and I found <laughs> The Great Alone by Kristen Hanna hardback almost perfect condition like there's really nothing wrong with this there's a tiny little tear up here I don't care that's fine because I got it for two bucks so I jumped on this really quickly I might have scared the poor old man who was working at the store but yeah like holy crap and I'm definitely gonna be reading this we're reading this for the Deadly Divas book club I think in the month of December so I'm super excited I'm gonna hold off until then so that I have it fresh in my mind but I am so excited to read this just you know great things I'm hearing about it and Kristen Hanna is one that I want to read a plethora of her work and I also if you saw our book list Thursday when Lindsay and I went around to the free little libraries and donated a bunch of books I picked one up from those and that's the Poisonwood Bible by Barbara Kingsolver I picked this up because this is one I have not read but I've always been intrigued by it and I've actually picked it up a couple times to maybe grab it and I just never have but I saw it it's free and really really great condition so I was like you know what why not all right let's talk about some goodwill books I went to a couple of goodwills here recently and picked up a few things the first one is the river at night by Erica Fen Fen Ferenick 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 <laughs> yeah okay I have picked this up at Walmart before because I just really like the cover and it looks like it's going to be a cool thrillery type of book and just never purchased it and I'm really glad I didn't because I found it at Goodwill for two bucks so I am going to put this on my shelves and be very excited to read it whenever that time comes. The other one I found at that particular Goodwill is My Husband's Wife by Jane Corey and I have seen this going around don't really know anything about it don't really want to so don't explain anything to me but I've heard good things about Jane Corey and her writing so I'm interested in giving her a try and for a really nice hardback I'm gonna take it. And then at the second Goodwill that I went to I found The Fortune Hunter by Daisy Goodwin and Daisy Goodwin also wrote An American Heiress or The American Heiress and I read that and gave it three stars I believe so it wasn't like amazing it was good enough but I want to give her another shot because she does write historical fiction so I want to give her another shot and I figured this could be a good one to do that and you know Goodwill it was super cheap so I figure I would go ahead and give this one a shot and see what I think about Daisy Goodwin as an author and if I don't like this one as much then I'll know where I stand with her but I'm still seeing her books a lot and I'm just still intrigued. And these last two books that I found at Goodwill are actually part of the Great American Reads list and I have not read them yet and the first one is The Alchemist by Paulo Coelho and I saw an anniversary edition of this at Target and it was 20 bucks and I was like no no because it's short so this is not an anniversary edition but this was at Goodwill for $1.99 and I was like yes thank you and the last one is really heavy I found Atlas Shrugged by Ayn Rand and huge huge ginormous oh my goodness it's so big it's so big but it's on the list I want to read it at some point in time and it was $3.99 at Goodwill so I was like yep that's happening okay four more books to talk about here um, going on with the Great American Reads I found another one here and this one I found at a store called Ollie's which is a discount store and I think it's a chain I'm pretty positive I've heard a few people say the name and I wasn't sure like what it was and I had never heard of it until we moved here because they have one in my town now and so I went in there and it has all sorts of different things as far as you know anything you can buy pretty much but they do have a book section and I went in there one day to really like look around because it's not very organized <laughs> as far as the books go I can tell like they try to keep everything together but it, sometimes it gets hard or sometimes they have only one copy of one book and it's there so um I found a few books and I went ahead and grabbed them because they were pretty cheap I mean the most I paid was $3.99 for one of these books and these are like good hardcover books so um, I might have to make a stop into Ollie's every so often not a ton but every so often I'm gonna run in there and see what they have first one I found is Little Women by Louisa May Alcott and this is on the Great American Reads I have not read this book yet and I got this for $1.99 I figured 
you know, not only can I read it, but my girls will probably want to read it at some point as well. It might be required reading for them in school at some point. I don't really know. Um, but it's a cute little addition and um, I just haven't read it yet. So I have it now. The next one that I found is Manhattan Beach by Jennifer Egan. And it's funny because I bought this for a friend and then she bought it before I could send it to her. <laughs> so... Yep, but I'm not even mad because now it can go on my shelves because I'm actually interested in this too. This is a historical fiction, which I did not realize. And if I had realized that, I probably would have wanted it for myself regardless. So it's gonna go on my shelves now and I'm totally okay with that. Totally okay with that. This next one is a hardback that I found for $1.99. Like what? This is The Darkest Corners by Kara Thomas. I have not read anything by Kara Thomas yet, but she has another book coming out this year called The Cheerleaders that I'm really interested in. And uh, yeah, so I saw this one. I've definitely heard of it, heard good things, so I grabbed it. And this last one is one that is everywhere right now, everywhere. And everyone is giving it five stars, everyone. And I was like, okay. So I had seen Allie from Hardback Quarter talk about this book and she bought it at Ollie's and it was $3.99. And I was like, hold up, <laughs> I have an Ollie's. I need to go see if it's there for $3.99. And it was, and I flipped out because I was like, oh, I've been, this is on my wish list. I was so excited. I want to pick this book up. Everyone's talking about it. And I got it for $3.99. The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. So excited, so excited for this. Um, every Everyone and their mother is talking about this. Um, this is by Taylor Jenkins Reid. And yep, just everyone. And now this is the second book by her that I have, so I need to read something. I need to read one of these two, <laughs> for sure, because I have two books from her by now. But yeah, I am definitely excited to read this. I'm really hoping it's gonna happen soon, if not very early 2019 at the least, you know, just depending on how the rest of my year goes as far as all my reading that I need to do. But um, yeah, I just could not believe I found it for so cheap and I'm super excited about it. Okay guys, that's it. Ooh, I really need to go on a book buying ban. I really do. They never work for me though, because it's, it's like dieting. You want, you take something out of your diet and then that's all you want. <laughs> You know, like if I tell myself I cannot buy books, that's all I'm gonna wanna do is buy books. So I don't know. I do feel this one was a little bit more contained than some of my previous ones have been. So it's not quite as bad, I think. I think I'm all right. But I do need to start being careful about how many books I'm bringing in because, you know, space. But I think I'm not gonna buy any more books until number one, the Karen Slaughter book comes out pieces of her and um that comes out in august and then i'm probably going to place a book outlet order on book outlet during their labor day sale i think because i have some books i need to buy for some other people we have a little special project going on on the side that you're not going to know about for a while but um and then i have my eye on a couple books in there that i just really want to get my hands on so i'm going to wait for a sale for sure just you know to make sure I'm getting the best price and the good that the best deals and all that but um so I probably won't be making any purchases until later in August like later so all right that's it hopefully I'm gonna stick to that <laughs> but let me know if you've read any of these books that I talked about and um tell me if you guys have gotten any books lately what they were and all that good stuff and I will talk to you guys again soon have a great day bye